there's those times when you need to cry. I'm talking about a real cry. I'm talking about you need to open up your soul and have a weep a -thon. And usually you don't even know it's coming. It'll start to hit you at work one day. You'll just be at work and you'll not really understand why you're feeling the way you're feeling. You're just walking around in kind of a haze. People talk to you and you're not expecting anyone to even communicate with you. So when they tap you, you're like, what? Yes. What can I do for you? But you don't know. You don't realize that you need to cry. All the weight of the world is on your shoulders. Maybe family issues, maybe something to do with your relationship, whatever it is. You're heavy, but you're walking around that job. And sometimes you don't cry, but you do like those pre-cry breaths. You're talking to somebody, you're like, well, I don't think the copy machine's working because it... <laughs> It was working <laughs> earlier. Somebody, are you all right? You look like you're gonna cry. No, I'm not going to cry. I'm just concerned about the toner in this machine and it not being refilled. <laughs> I have asthma, but it's kind of a strobe-like asthma. <laughs> And you're wondering, what is wrong with me? What is happening? What do I need to remove this feeling? And then you get a tap on your shoulder, a tap. And when you finally turn around, who's behind you? The world. The world. Right on your shoulder going, hi, hey, what's up? I don't know if we've met, but I'm the fucking world. And I just want to, uh, I want to let you know something. Um, <laughs> you're going to cry. <laughs> and you're like, thanks, world. And you know, that's what I need to do. I need to go home today and I need to cry. But you gotta hold it in. The entire day you're holding it. You're thinking, when I get home today, oh, I'm doing it. I am doing it. Even on the drive home, you think, maybe I'll cry a little on the drive home. Maybe I'll squeeze some of those tears out. But you don't. You can never cry in your car because as you're driving, you always think that your car is like the center of the universe. Right? Everyone's looking at your car. If you're crying, people are going to be like, ah! Blue Honda. Dude was crying like a... Did you see that? Turn around. We're going to follow that guy. Me, 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 me. Ah! What's up, wethead? Ah! So you don't cry in the car. So you get home and you know that you're just going to unload. And it sucks when you live with people, maybe you live with your family or, or, or roommates, and you're hoping, right, nobody's home. You're really praying that nobody's there because the second you come in that door, you are ready to collapse into tears. So you have to yell out. It's like a test, right? Then you come in the door, you're like, hey, what's up? Anybody around? You get those three seconds of silence, the it's okay to cry silence. Three, two, one, and you just go. <laughs> and you fall right against the couch. <laughs> and you cry fucking hard too, right? <laughs> then as you're crying, what happens is it starts to feel good that you're crying like that. And what you do is you latch on to one phrase that you just repeat over and over again. Just something that means something to you. You're like, I did my best. I did my best. I did my best. I did my fucking best. I did my best. I did my best. I did my best. And then you think you hear somebody coming in, you're like, uh, hello? Hey, what's up? Nobody. <laughs> now your, your face is leaking many different fluids. And you're almost so fascinated that you're crying, that you want to cry harder. So what do you do? You start thinking of shit that makes you really sad. Like ninth grade when Laura didn't invite you to the fucking party, but she invited everybody else in school. You're like, why oh, didn't she invite me? Why did she invite everybody but me? I did my best. <laughs> now, you're crying so hard, you do that thing where you have to get up and go to the mirror and watch yourself cry. 
You just cry. And you don't know how long it's going to last. You could cry for 15 minutes. You could cry all day. One time I cried so long, I checked my emails. I brushed my teeth mid-cry. <laughs> You know what's really weird? You notice that the phone always rings when you're crying. And what's really strange is you answer it. You answer it. Even though you don't want the world to know you're crying, you still pick up the phone. And I think it's because subconsciously you're reaching out. You want somebody to help you. So you pick up your phone, try to disguise it, right? You pick up the phone. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> hey, what's up, dude? What's going on? Now I'm not crying, you fag. Shut up. <laughs> And then the person who calls, they just start saying the things that really touch your heart. Well, listen, um, I don't want to keep you, but I just, I don't know, man. I just want to call and let you know that uh, you did your best today. You did your best. <laughs> Thanks, dude. <laughs> oh, and by the way, I just want to let you know, I talked to Laura from ninth grade. Remember her? And she says that she regrets not inviting you to that party. <laughs> No shit, I was just thinking about that. <laughs> Do not talk to your mother and father when you're crying. Because what happens is your mom has the ability to make you weep even more. And your dad makes you feel like a fucking idiot. Your mom just knows just the way to touch your heart, right? You're talking to your mom, go, uh, hey mom, what's up? How is, hello, how is my baby angel? How is my baby? I was just thinking about my baby angel. Yeah, I'm just, I don't know, Mom, I'm having kind of like, people at work are being a little weird lately, you know? Well, you know what? They're jealous. They're jealous of you, Dane. They're jealous. Those people are lost souls. And they want what you have, okay? You know who your best friend is? Me. Yes, give yourself a hug, because you rule. Thanks, thanks, Mom. You just know what to say. Thank you. Now, here's your father. Don't do that. Your dad gets on. Hey, what's going on? Why do you sound like a babbling brook? Uh, <clears throat> I'm just having a tough day, you know? Oh, yeah? You having a tough fucking day? I was in Korea. I'm having a tough life. You didn't even know the amount of tears that I could cry. I could grow crops with my tears. Now take your dress off and end this little tea party. <laughs>